Today on I Just Like to Cook, we're gonna make an egg and cheese omelet sandwich. Here's what you will need. Two slices of whole wheat white bread, two eggs, shredded mild cheddar cheese, half a tablespoon of Smart Balance butter, Smart Balance cooking spray, a fourth teaspoon of salt, fourth tablespoon of garlic powder, crushed basil leaves, a fourth teaspoon of black pepper, a fourth cup of diced red bell peppers, a fourth cup of diced yellow bell peppers, a fourth cup of diced green bell peppers, and a fourth cup of diced green onions. Now that we have all of our ingredients, let's get started. Begin by dicing half of a yellow, red, and a green bell pepper. Then chop two or three fresh green onion stems and set these ingredients to the side for later. Crack two raw eggs into a mixing bowl and season with a fourth teaspoon of black pepper, a fourth teaspoon of salt, and a fourth tablespoon of garlic powder. Whip the eggs and seasoning until they're evenly mixed. Now measure out a half tablespoon of Smart Balance butter and microwave for about 20 seconds or until it completely melted. Then dip one side of each slice of bread in the butter, toast lightly, and set aside for later. Spray the bottom of a medium sized cooking skillet and warm the skillet on your stove to about medium heat. Once the skillet is hot, add a fourth cup each of the diced bell peppers and green onions. Saute until soft, but be sure not to overcook. Pour the egg and seasoning mix into the pan. Let it sit and cook until stiff enough to fold into an omelet. When folding the omelet, try to make it as square as possible in order to fit perfectly between your bread. Sprinkle a little shredded mild cheddar cheese over the omelet, then place it on the buttered side of one piece of bread. Sprinkle a little ground basil over the cheese and place the second piece of bread on top. To add a nice finishing touch, sprinkle a little more basil over the top of the sandwich and give it a light spray of Smart Balance cooking oil. And that's it, ready to serve and enjoy. As always, thanks for stopping by to check out my cooking videos. Like, leave a comment, and share with your friends and your family.